Hey Woodridge fam, my name is Tiffany and I'm the worship leader here at Woodridge. Today I want to talk to you guys about suffering. It's a topic that's been on my mind a lot recently and I think it's been so present in my mind because I know that our church has gone through and is going through so much suffering. And so is the church across the street, the one down the road, and the one in Houston, Katy, Louisiana, the ones throughout the country, and the ones around the world. Suffering is present everywhere and it's heavy. If I think back in time where so much suffering seemed so prevalent was when we experienced the floods a few years ago. There was so much destruction and loss. Then we quickly entered COVID times dealing with isolation, skyrocketed statistics of depression, anxiety, and loneliness. Moving on to countless terminal diagnosis within our congregation where health and wellness hung in the unknown, affecting the daily functioning of life and pulling on emotions. So what do we do with all this suffering? Especially in the Christian life where many believe that if I follow the Lord wholeheartedly by giving my life to Christ, all will be in my favor. First, we need to know and understand that everyone will encounter suffering, even Christians. There are countless stories of biblical figures who went through suffering from Noah to Moses, Jacob, Esther, Mary, David, and Jesus himself. See, God never promised us a life without suffering. In fact, because Jesus suffered on the cross, because the Christians in the Bible faced trials and suffered, we know that we too will face trials of many kind and experience suffering. So now that we're aware we will encounter suffering, what's next when it's at our doorstep? Draw near to God. Grieve and grieve well. Cry out to God. Ask Him the tough questions. Don't hold it in. You may be thinking, what in the world, Tiffany? I can't be mad at God and ask Him why and cry to Him. And I'm here to tell you, yes, you can. In fact, this is better because you are running to God instead of from God. Another thing we can do is respond to pain and suffering with worship. Shift your mindset and actively engage with God through worship, whether that's listening to worship music, reading the Bible, praying by yourself, praying with a friend, talking to your pastor or Bible study leader. Now let me be clear, when we shift our mindset from worry to worship, we aren't denying what the reality of our situation is, but we are choosing to redirect our focus and our posture, which allows us to draw near to God. Lastly, don't lose hope. I know this can be so difficult to do, especially in the midst of suffering when there seems to be no end in sight. But keep holding on to hope. Keep your eyes set on God and know that eternity is coming because Jesus conquered the grave and defeated death. Now we've only scratched the surface of the many ways that we can handle suffering, but I hope this has been helpful in some way and I encourage you guys to continue to seek out help on what to do with suffering when you encounter it. And when you do encounter it, remember Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The God of this universe loves us and knows our pain and suffering. He is with us and will always invite us to draw near to Him so that we might experience His peace, healing, and closeness.